Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Vinland Saga. You guys, I am really excited to see what is going to happen next. If you're joining me early today, you already know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much and as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So last episode of Vinland Saga was really good. And um, they presented a couple things to us here because we finally got the rematch for uh, Askeladd and Thorfinn. And like I thought, I, you know, did not go as Thorfinn had plans. Um... There was kind of this um, overarching theme throughout the episode about um, how everyone's kind of like shackled to something. Um, everyone's a slave to something, whether you're like ac an actual slave in this world or, you know, a slave to your desires, needs, uh, goals, whatever, possessions, I don't know. Um, but Askeladd kind of goes into this really good monologue about it. And, uh, and it occurred to me when Askeladd and Thorfinn were fighting that, you know, Askeladd's totally been using Thorfinn. Like, he even says something about, like, how he had kind of been using him and he, you know, Thorfinn had been useful to him. Um, and at first I was like, I don't see him, like, leaving Thorfinn alive or anything, but it's like, oh my god, of course, he's been, like, exploiting this poor kid for, like, free labor and battle and everything for, like, years, and he has no intention of stopping. So he basically goads Thorfinn into kind of, like, acting recklessly, and he ends up losing the fight. So I don't know what's going to happen with Thorfinn now. Is Thorfinn even still with them? Like, where we left off, um, they had gone ahead and invaded England, and they were doing pretty well, I guess, until they got to London. Um, and that's kind of where we, where we left off. Uh, we met a couple new characters. We met kind of the long blonde haired character. I think they said his name was Canute. I don't, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but I, I imagine we're going to see more of him. Um, I think I actually have seen him in the theme. Um, so kind of seems like he's not super experienced in battle, but he's going anyway. He wants more experience. He's like next in line, in, um, in the throne. Um, so we kind of have like, I feel like the, the Thorfinn Askeladd revenge plot has kind of wrapped up and now we're in the invading England plot. Um, but if Thorfinn is still around and still with them, I can't imagine he's just given up. But I really don't know where he's going to be at, to be honest. Um, we had a really great scene with him, with this noble girl who had been um, basically, like, taken as a slave. And um, I really liked their interaction, and I liked her dialogue because it was actually a lot deeper than I think she she meant to be at that point. But it um, it really kind of drove home. Um, I hope, I hope it reached Thorfinn. I don't know. I really don't know where his head is at right now, but we saw him have like a dream about Thor's, which was wonderful to see Thor's a little bit again, even though it was just a dream sequence. Uh, even in a dream, he's just so wonderful and comforting. And he even said like, you know, you're just going to have to figure this out for yourself. So even on some level, even Thorfinn knows, because that was all like in Thorfinn's head. Um, even he knows like... There's something about this path that he's on. Um, I mean, I'm assuming it's a dream. Maybe it was like an actual like ghost visitation. I don't know. Um, but yes, yeah, so we left off with this battle in London. And I don't know what happened to Thorfinn after that. He actually mentioned Vinland. I'm like, maybe he'll take off and go to Vinland. Um, it is the name of the show. And we haven't like gotten back to it since like the first episode. So... Um, who knows when and if we're getting to Vinland. So, you guys, there's only one way to find out. Let's jump right in next episode. Let's go. <laughs> He's like, my bad. And what do you think now? Really? Oh! I don't, I, that's, wow. 
Oh, he's still there. Where is he? Where are you at, honey? He's still after it. Don't. Oh, yeah. No, you don't bring up his dad. Oh. I see. Oh, yeah, he's happy to oblige as long as he gets the work out of him. Oh. Oh, there, yeah, they don't want to hear. Oh my! Oh my god, he looks like a crazy Askeladd. Okay. And he just turned on him to get the money? Oh! Hey, they're like, what? Well, uh, hang on, what? I see. And these guys just have no idea what he's saying to them. Oh, I thought he was. Oh! Okay, that's not where I thought that was going. Oh no! That's a very large rock! Uh, yeah, yeah, then row away, everyone, row away! Uh oh. I think Thorkel just wants to see the world burn. They did get the info that King Edmund was the only one kind of uh, worth a soul. Alright. Well, you must need a lot of men on those ships. You need some to row and some to shoot. Oh, no. <laughs> I got it. Oh, my lord. He's a beast. Uh... Yeah, log dropper, that's original. Oh, and up rolls Thorfinn. You were saying? Oh, he's going to laugh so hard at this. He's going to think, this little kid? He's going to, is he going to, I will, oh. Oh. He's got, oh, oh my god, oh my god, he's, oh, I was going to say he's going to use that log. Oh man, this guy has no idea. He's big and he's strong, but Thorfinn's fast. Oh! Nice! <laughs> He's like, way to go! Don't get hit then, baby! 
Oh no, is this is just like a game to him. Oops, is right. Okay. Mm. Yeah, like close range. Yeah. Oh, and he's gonna get down low when he... <gasps> nice! Sweet. was his hand. I was hoping it was his neck. Oh, dang. Oh, no. He's got Thor from like a rag doll. It's not over yet. It is not over yet. Look, this guy doesn't even care if there's like a knife in his hand. Oh. Are you planning on taking Thorfinn when you retreat? Oh my lord. He's not. And he's still got his. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! Oh boy, throwing logs around is going to be a little bit harder without some of those digits. This Does this guy feel pain? He doesn't look like he feels pain. Oh. Oh God. No, he knew him? Oh, yeah, he probably did because he used to be with the. Okay. He's just like. This is just like a little play date for him. He's just like, bye, spurting blood. Wow. Yeah, and they probably can't fight that well in the winter, can they? Okay. They're gonna divide and conquer here? Yes. Okay. I hope he's ready for that. Ah, new plan. Huh. They always leave him behind, the poor baby. Did they win? Oh, they think that they won. They think that they won, and but there's still soldiers there. <clears throat> He's like, but I didn't get to kill that many people. Yeah, like he wanted a fight. What a dissatisfying victory. Uh-oh. He's getting mad. He's going to take this bridge down himself. I wonder if Thorfinn will try to go back for him and get his head. He doesn't give up easily. Oh, Thorfinn. No thanks to you. Oh. His shoulders can happen to his. Oh, he's like, I'm good. Yeah, he's just in it for the fun of it. Oh, sweetheart, you're starting to see just what your dad was trying to tell you. 
All right, you guys, that episode was so good. So um, we got to know uh, Thor Thorkel, I think, Thorkel, Thorkel, I think it's just Thorkel. Um, okay, I know he's insane, but I really like Thorkel. <laughs> I don't like him, but boy, is he entertaining to watch. Like, the nonstop energy when he's on screen, just like having the time of his life, throwing boulders, throwing logs trying to come up with names for his attacks and giving them boring names. Um, I, I really thought maybe Thorfinn would try to go back for him. Um, I, but I think it's pretty clear, like, he's outmatched there, um, at least right now. Um, maybe now that he has an idea of how he fights, uh, he would stand more of a chance. But even, even with someone like Thorkel, he still managed to wound him a lot. Like, he still cut his fingers off. And I love how, like, Thorkel just didn't care. He was like, yay, this is fun. You ever seen, like, a dog, like, get up in, like, another animal's face? And it's, like, so happy and, like, barking at it. And the animal bites it. And the dog's just like, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Let's do this some more. And, like, doesn't even realize it's being, like, bitten or stung or whatever. That's Thorkel. That's Thorkel. Um... You know, plus the, the killing and all that. Yeah, I don't know. They kept saying he was so made, motivated by money. I don't see it. I think he just, he's in it just to have fun. Thorkel just wants to have fun. Um, and his idea of fun is, is, um, is that, is just wrecking and killing. He was so sad when they <laughs> won the battle. I think he thought he was really going to get to wreck some stuff. And then they just retreated. But here's the interesting thing about that. Um, the English all think that they won. And we know that there's still going to be like 4,000 soldiers there. So knowing like nothing about history and what actually might have happened in this instance, it makes me wonder if maybe when they come back, they'll have the element of surprise because nobody is going to be expecting... Um, I don't know, maybe they will, but if they think that they won, my guess would be they're not going to be expecting anyone to come back to London Bridge and try to take it. Um, so they might have that going for them. I'm not, I'm honestly not sure. I'll be very curious to see. Um, Thorfinn just keeps getting beat down and beat down. And I just, I don't know where he's going, his head is going to be at, you know? Is this giving him more resolve? Is it pushing him more to try and get stronger, to try and get closer to his goal? Or is he eventually going to see the truth in his father's words that this is pointless, it's senseless, and this is not what Thors would want? Um, the last thing Thors would have wanted was somebody's heart as a present to him. That is the last present he would want. You know what? You know what Thors would want? Thors would want some like pot and pan making lessons. That's what he would want. He would want that because he was not very good at it, and he wanted to be. He he wanted to be crafty. Thors would want like a crafty offering. He would not want somebody's heart. I can guarantee it. I haven't known Thors as long as Thorfinn has, but I'm pretty confident. So, why, why doesn't Thorfinn go and make some pots and pans in honor of his father? That's what Thor's would have wanted. Can you imagine? He would have been so proud. He would have been, like, looking down from heaven. <laughs> it's like Thorfinn made all these wonderfully crafted pots and pans. He would have been such a proud papa. I don't know, this, this conversation is really kind of degenerated at this point, so let's bring it back. But, um, yes, anywho, um, I don't know where he's, where, like, his mental state is going to land at this point. It changes, like, every time we see him. Although, I mean, there's the long-running thread of just, like, having that grim resolve to, like, get revenge. But I feel like just every time we see him, I don't know, it just feels like he's, he's suffering another loss. He won't give up, but I just wonder, I just wonder, you know. Also, when are we getting to Vinland? <laughs> Maybe the... Well, no, I don't think they're going to Vinland. They're they're still in uh they're still gonna be trying to take England, but I'm like, I don't know, maybe they'll send some of those guys to, to Vinland. So here would be my guess. Either Thorfinn 
Um, I, I don't think he would actually, I'd be really surprised if he actually killed Askeladd. Um, but I mean, I could see it happening where like either he just can't defeat Askeladd or like is in a position where he's about, this, this will be perfect. This is what I'm, uh, this is what I'm going to project for the series. Um, if he just could never be strong enough to kill Askeladd, I don't think he'd be able to live with that. But I think the perfect scenario would be he get he gets in a duel. He's got Askeladd where he wants him. He's about to strike the killing blow. And he remembers Thor's and everything that Thor's taught him. And he just drops the knives, walks away, and finds his way to Vinland. I don't know. I think that would be a pretty cool direction to take it. I don't see how or why else we're going to go to Vinland at this point. Or maybe he does kill Askeladd and then he's like, what now? I don't feel like I can go back home. Although I'm kind of worried about his mom and sister. So, all right, guys, that's my, that's my, uh, my professional opinion on what could happen. I'm going to be so happy if I'm right. I, I, I'm almost positive I'm not right. But, um, yeah, they, they've really got me in a state where, like, I feel like I know the characters fairly well, but I don't really know what's going to happen. I don't know why or how or when we're getting to Vinland. I don't know what's going to happen with Thorfinn and Askeladd. Um, when are we going to see Thorkel again? Um, is he still going to have the ability to pick up logs with his, um, with the alterations that were made by Thorfinn? Um, so guys, I had a blast at that episode. That was really fun. I enjoyed meeting Thorkel, um, which is weird to say because he's like a stone cold killer, but he's also a lot of fun. Um, so just let me have this one. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun with it. I can't wait to see where it's going. I hope you enjoyed watching it along with me. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.